Hello, it's Amy from amyparkerart.com and founder of Creative Warriors Membership, where I teach you how to make money with your art. I also give you a painting tutorial every single month. I am so excited to have one of our very own Creative Warriors here with me today, Linda. And I just want to reach out and give her a big hug because she is so <laughs> sweet and we get along amazing. Um, but I'm so excited that we have Linda here. She's going to just hang out with me. We're going to have a little chat about art and um, just have a good time. So I sure hope that you all enjoy it. So Linda, could you please tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you do? Oh, well, I'm uh, retired. I have three grown sons who are married and have given me seven grandchildren spread all over the country. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations on all those grandkids. Yeah, yeah. And I uh, started painting when COVID hit. So back in April, I was looking for something to do because I was stuck home and Fortunately, at the same time, the art teachers were looking to, you know, rebrand their businesses so that they could keep going, feed the family. <laughs> so yeah. there were a lot of, lot of options on Facebook to get started with classes. So I did uh, start a class back then and did my first painting in April. So and it hasn't like been it. very long at the time of this recording. Anyway, um, it hasn't been very long since you've been painting and I can yes. see behind you already those beautiful pieces on your wall <laughs> that you have done. Oh, thanks. Yeah, pretty soon. A few more weeks. It'll be uh, my one year. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. The cool thing, the real cool thing about it is my oldest son after I was painting for a few months he um because I was 72 at the time I'll be 73 this month I mean hello people does she look like I mean <laughs> wow she drinks from the fountain of youth okay all right Linda go go ahead <laughs> and my son my oldest son had called one day and he said you know I was talking to so and so and it's a young girl about 40 I don't think she's even 40. She might be late 30s, early 40s. And she was having a hard time with the whole COVID thing. And, you know, because that was back when everything was so strict. Yeah. And yeah. she said, you know, I'm going out of my mind. Da, 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 da. And he goes, come on, you got to reinvent yourself. He said, my mom is 72 years old and she started this whole new out of nowhere. <laughs> you know, painting, having a ball. You know, people are loving it. So, and Linda, ha, I don't know if you mentioned this or not, but did you ever paint before this time or was this the first kind of go I never, around? I never did paintings like this, but I did do craft painting. Yeah. Like for my little granddaughters, I'd get the unfinished rocking chairs and I would crackle paint them, you know, yeah. the pink and ivory yeah. and maybe do a floral spray on yeah. the back. But that was about it and not. Not constant. I mean, every time I did, I struggled because it was a you know, new thing. But like anything else, when I start something crafty, I have to have everything. So I had yeah. all the paints. <laughs> I had all the brushes. You know, I so had, you were ready to go then with all your supplies right there. So I, I'm using paints I had 30 some years ago. Wow. Surprised they're not hardened up by now. I, they're good, huh? They're fine. And I did do ceramics for a while you know, painted ceramics, you know, I would do like the, um, uh, well, my son, when the kids were young, one son's room, I did like in the animals that were more, what do you call it when they're like in your area? Yeah. So I had done ceramics in his room that was like squirrels and raccoons and yeah. you know, that kind of thing. And then for the other two boys, I did the room more like a safari. So I painted like um, I did a lion and made it into a lamp and, you know, had those kind of a zebra and yeah, stuff like that. Neat. I but bet yeah. they loved that. Yeah, they did. The only thing was I had <laughs> gotten wallpaper that was lions for the top half of the boys rooms. 
And the first night they went to sleep, my one of my sons came into my room standing next to the bed and he's like, I don't think I like it. The street lights like eyes, all eyes. <laughs> oh no, you're giving him nightmares. <laughs> It's in my DNA. <laughs> oh, did he get used to it? Oh, he did. He you did? It. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if you had to take it down because that would have been some work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he loved it. But no, this this is really a whole new thing for me. And I, you know, I'm a slow painter. It takes me a while because I have to, you know, like this one being the first one. If I wow. Your first painting. That's yes. beautiful. I love it. I love all the cute little dots there. Very, oh, so pretty. Nice. <laughs> so when I would, when I paint, like say here, I of course get it on the leaves. So then I have to go back with the green and fix that. And then I'll get a little on the yellow. <laughs> yeah. A That's little a back and forth of, thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, as I'm doing more though, my hand is getting steadier. Nice. A little looser. Wonderful. Yeah. So a painting that took me, oh, oh, like, wow, two, three days to do. I don't know what happened there. I did do, you know, a few months ago in like six hours. I got it done. That's amazing. So, wow, I kind of am the opposite. Like my hands get a little shaky. Probably because of all this coffee that I drink, because mm. I can't live without my coffee. <laughs> you could be onto something. Mm. <laughs> a little shaky, you know, my own mm. skin. Um, but yeah, um, everyone listen up who is crafty, who likes to do ceramics or do the crackle paint. You just heard Linda go through a bunch of things that she liked to do um, craft wise. And just look at that wall behind her and that painting that she just showed. Like, you really, if you're inspired to try and do an actual painting, it can be done. Linda is doing it. She's living proof. So, Linda, what would you say to someone if they thought, were you ever one of those people that looked at a painting and like, oh, gosh, I wish I could do that? Or Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, like, what would you say to someone that may be thinking that right now? I'd say just try it. Just try it. And and one of the things that you and you know others have said that has been so helpful is <clears throat> do your painting, walk away, <laughs> and come and look at it again or take pictures. And, and I did that and I still do. When I'm done for the night painting, I'll take it down the family room when I'm going to watch TV with my husband and I set it on the floor propped at the wall unit. And I'll, good job you know and we'll both kind of look and you know just get a feel but yeah I think part of my problem before was hmm I don't visualize well if something's not right in front of me you know like I can't pick up the brush and start painting you know the brook and the trees and the house and you know all that I had to have something in front of me but I'm noticing after the year now I see things in layers nice you, you know, are you have this hidden talent within <laughs> you that you didn't even know that's starting to emerge I like that as well you know even though I've been painting for years and years I still need a reference photo or I need to be sitting in plain air or something I have I have to look at something unless I'm creating an abstract piece and I'm just feeling as I go with my colors but mm -hmm. to create like a design a still life seascape sunset whatever the case may be I need to look at something as well. So you're not alone in that in that oh, way. Okay, that's good to know. Because I wondered if I would ever get to that place, but I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> Some people do kind of acquire that after a while. Like uh, both of my daughters are very crafty and artsy as well. And um, one, my oldest daughter, she can come up with things just right out of her brain. It's like, how does this happen? My brother is the same way. I have a very creative family, even extended family. And, um, but my youngest, she's like me, we, we, you know, we need to look at something. So there's, you know, there's different types of people, different types of artists. Like we just got to kind of feel it, go with it, try it. Like you said, don't be afraid. Just give it a shot. I mean, mm -hmm. see what happens.
you know. Yeah, how bad how bad can it be? Like you remind us too when we're painting, if something, if we really hate it, paint over it, start again. It's just yep. paint. Right. Exactly. We can't be scared of a little paint, right? And have fun <laughs> while you're doing it. You know, I don't want anybody to get stressed out. It can be a little frustrating, you know, when we're trying to learn a new skill. If that's the case, then just walk away for a little while and come back. But mm -hmm. it should be for me anyway. Um relaxing and just mm. a meditative state I kind of get into when I'm creating and you know that's I think why I love creating so much and, mm -hmm. and painting so much because it's a you know uh, it calms me down it helps with anxiety there's so many different health benefits with creating art mm -hmm. um I mean I've done all kinds of um reading on that topic topic and um yeah it's pretty extensive so there are very very there's a lot of benefits so just give it a shot i mm -hmm. bet you're gonna feel really good just to just to try it out anyway oh i know it yeah and don't think you're too old right definitely not yeah, i mean no. this is what your son said hey look <laughs> at my mother she just started this new thing and she's going like crazy and painting and yeah that's amazing yeah it really, really is so um, because you are one of my amazing members, can you tell, can you tell everyone, like, I mean, you don't have to go on a long spiel, but can you tell everyone um, since you have joined Creative Wars, like, what was it like before you joined um, as opposed to now? Like, what, what's something that may stand out in your mind that you really um, enjoy about being inside of the Creative Warriors membership? Well, before I joined Creative Warriors, um, I was kind of uh, alone. You know, I was doing it on my own. I'd see different ones I wanted to pick up a class or do or whatever, and I would do it. And that was nice. But when I joined, well, I saw you first in um, a collaboration. Yep. That's when I saw you and just... <laughs> Loved you right away and thought I want to be in her group. But. Oh my gosh. I love you too, Linda. <laughs> but but it's the community. And it's the um you you encourage us, you know. So I mean, I thought, you know, I'd look at my paintings when I started and I thought, yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. I can't believe I did that. But to have somebody, especially like you, a tried and true artist for years say oh my goodness i love that was like oh really <laughs> <laughs> you <Okay>. are so cute <laughs> all righty then you know i have a true artist telling me that what i'm doing is good it encouraged me to keep going you know Perfect. keep trying i'm so happy to hear that that's mm. a wonderful thing yeah and, and the community i mean you've got the best people in your group oh my goodness i, I don't think i'll ever ever leave your group because of oh, the friendships yeah I totally agree mm -hmm. I mean I I'm doing this to help artists we do focus mostly on the marketing end of it so that you can make money from your home studio but I also give that creative aspect where I give you a painting tutorial per month so Linda's talking a lot about um, you know enjoying that aspect of the creative part that I give and obviously the community that you just mentioned it i feel like yes i'm giving that to you all but you all give me so much back because i'm i'm in it too it's like i'm a part too like we're all <laughs> helping each other and you know moving forward together and we're all at different aspects and mm -hmm. even though i teach mostly like the marketing the sales and the techie stuff for online that kind of stuff um you know, not, not everybody is at that level. Some people like you're enjoying the artistic aspect of it in the community. I think everyone, cause I haven't heard any, any one of our members say they didn't like the community. They're all, they all say that. And I'm so glad that you're mm. that because Yeah. I feel the same way. I feel like I'm one of you. We're all together and it's just, it's a wonderful feeling to have that support and, uh, be friends and mm. meet so many amazing, creative, wonderful people. And it works. The community works, even though we're at different levels, because we all have creativity in common. 
Mm -hmm. Just some real nice people in the group. And I know like for me, I mean, I'm stuck at home anyway, even without the COVID, you know, because of health challenges that I have. And um, a, a little less in the good weather when it's not flu season, you know, then we would entertain and, you know, go a few places if I was able. But this is like, oh, the social aspect right. of it, you know? Right. It's, it's really neat. It's really neat. I love yeah, it. I'm glad you brought that up too, because if you are someone that um, if you're watching this video and you are trying to do things on your own, um, even if you're not interested in becoming a creative warrior someday, find a community that you do like, because Linda is totally right. Like years ago, when I started selling my paintings online, um, I was doing it all by myself. I learned a lot of things on my own. I did have a business background, um, never went to school for it or art, but I was a business owner numerous times. Um, and then when I started online, you know, I was basically doing it all by myself. And then I'm thinking, boy, it sure would be nice to, to, to be able to follow someone that's already doing what I want to do, or, you know, someone that might be able to help me out or cut some corners. Hence the reason why I started creative warriors because I knew others would want to know this but yes it's so important to find a mentor and to find a community especially being at home in this day and age right there's so many of us that are kind of were like forced to be online and um, hard for people to get out you're a perfect example of that so it just makes us feel not so alone and yes, it's on the computer, but we're still human beings and we're still <laughs> connecting with each other. So right. it's the second best thing, you know? <laughs> right. Yeah. And, and I watch you and how much you put into the group. My goodness. Uh, we get, oh, I wouldn't be lying if I said 20 times what we pay, you know, oh. for the membership. Yeah. It's so inexpensive, the membership and what you put into it. I mean, even though I'm not, building a business doing it um i have sold some paintings but i would probably try to keep it down below the 600 a year so i don't have to do all the i've done businesses i've been an entrepreneur right. you know my whole right. life and um i'm just i'm older now and it's just i'm not in that place right now yeah, but there I, comes a time when i'm your age i might feel the same like hey i just want to Sell a few here and there. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, no big deal. And mm -hmm. so I'm glad you mentioned that because, you know, it's okay to be where you're at. If you if you don't want to sell any, you don't have to sell any. If you want to just create the paintings, just create. If you mm -hmm. want to sell a few, if you want a side hustle or a full-time gig, it really is a personal choice. And we're just here to carry you on, help you out. And um, Linda's right. I have a lot of content in there because what mm. I did was I, I um, recorded what I did along the way to gain over 700 art collectors in a short period of time online to consistently uh, make enough money to pay my mortgage and bills every month. I never thought, I mean, I'm not rich, but I'm not starving. I can't even the years ago, I would have never thought that could be possible <laughs> online, you know, as an artist, but I'm living proof and um, I help everyone out with that content and that information. And like we were just saying too, you know, we're all individuals. So you may want to dive into those trainings or, you know, if you're like Linda, you might want to like skip over those parts and just kind of work on the creative end of it. Maybe, you know, someday if she decides, then, she, you know, it's there for you anyway. It's a library of information that you can't jump in and think, oh, I'm going to watch everything in a day. Yes, you can mm -hmm. watch some stuff, but it will take you a while. So I try and help you, like, let's keep a pace going here and not get too, ah, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. But having the background of having my own business, I see the value of what you provide. Thank you. You know, um, and, and the other members too. You know, when we do our, oh, I love the brainstorming that we do on Zoom, the private brainstorming. Because yeah. we do, we all have a little something, you know. That Yes, yes. Everybody, I get something out of it every time as well. Um, mm -hmm. I love those meetings because we can help each other out. 
we share our wins. We ask, you know, what would you do here or there? Or, you know, just How sharing that within us. Yeah, it's just mm -hmm. wonderful. Um, I just I did an interview a little while ago too with uh, one of our other creative warriors, Robin, and she did her first like collaboration with yeah. other creative warriors. And so we talked about that a little bit. And so like you're saying, Linda, it's mm -hmm. like, you know, the community is totally important. And yeah, you can just kind of branch out and do what you feel is uh, gonna be helpful. And, you know, we're not always gonna be perfect all the time, but it's kind of like what Linda said in the beginning, like just go ahead and try it and give it a shot. So same thing with business, might as well, if, if that's something you wanna do, just mm -hmm. try it and give it a shot. Like I said, I didn't think that I would be selling consistently for, you know, three straight years in a row um, to be able to generate that with my art income. But um, well, I would have done that if I didn't try it. So, mm -hmm. you know, we got to at least take some action. <laughs> well, my thing was in April, I started painting and I started putting, I just wanted to have my own photo album on Facebook where I would put the paintings I did just so I'd have them together there. I really didn't think about everybody seeing them. You know, that wasn't my intention. But when I put the first one up, oh my goodness, my friends were going crazy. And I got an order right away. I didn't know what to do because that wasn't my intent. And she was like, oh, that, well, which, oh, see the black boots with the sunflowers? Yes. She ordered that for her mother-in-law for Mother's Day because she Aww. said she's a gardener. She loves sunflowers. The only thing, could you add a little, um, what did she, oh, she wanted a little gnome red gnome peeking out behind the boots <laughs> I said I can't guarantee but I'll I'll try yeah so I did she loved it I I charged her a certain amount and she gave me double what oh I Linda what a wonderful story really so I was like okay it just is, is just evolving and you're not even pushing it you know I it's, know yeah I wonderful know. same with the angel one I think that was the second order I'm pretty sure that was the second order and um, same thing. They gave me double. They said, oh, That's no, no, awesome. you know, I'm not going to take it for that money. Uh -uh. And I'm like, OK, so I started. Now my confidence is being stroked too, thinking they really yeah. value my work. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, when we do make a sale, it, re it really does that, you know, um, it really does build your confidence. And little side note here for those of you that haven't sold yet or want to sell a painting and you're scared to put it out there, please know, not spoiler alert, not everyone is going to like your paintings and your mm -hmm. painting style. And I, I like to say that right up front. I tell my creative warriors this because we are all individuals. We, we ourselves like different things and we we decorate our homes different ways and things like that. So you can't expect everyone to like it, but mm -hmm. you will, and I teach you inside the membership how to get your stuff out there if you want to start building a collector base that will love your pieces so that, you know, and Linda, I mean, what a, what a great story to just sell something by accident, you know, and then get some orders like that. It's amazing and that they love your, your work so much that you got um, a double bonus tip. I mean, that's, yeah. that's, that's great. It really yeah. is. Yeah. And you know, that, that stroke of confidence doesn't hurt in all aspects of life, even though Correct. it's on your, on your painting, it just helps overall, you yeah. know, yeah. Yeah. and my husband, oh my goodness, my husband's my biggest fan. He, sometimes he gets tears in his eyes. Oh, when that's he's, awesome. He's crazy. I'll bring the painting down, you know, and he'll be like, oh, okay, that's my favorite. That's <laughs> I said you said that last time. Does he tell you like Tim does to me? Was oh you can't sell that one. You can't sell oh, that painting. Yeah. But because <laughs> right. I you know I used to do that. I'd be like just putting them in my group and you know selling them left and right. And I have learned now to make sure. I know you're 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 not geared towards the business end right now. You're kind of. But I would suggest if everybody's loving them and finding you. Um, to save some pieces that you really love or, um, yeah. you know, something you can um, hand down throughout the years. And, you know, I want to make sure that I have something 
for my girls and mm -hmm. uh, you know we're the artists so we need to keep something in the family so make right. sure you hold on to a special piece you know well that's why I have over here on this side of the wall I have my first three which included the sunflower one that I showed so yeah. when I looked there and they're in the order you know there's one two three nice. <laughs> and then it comes over to this wall and I don't think I'll ever let these go I've done others but these first ones I won't they're your babies yeah yeah yeah, yeah it's when, it's inspiring to you I'm sure to be in mm. your studio and look at them and just kind of probably propels you and keeps your your uh, momentum going by seeing what you've already accomplished mm -hmm. in a short period of time yeah now I just have to decorate my whole house to go with this style <laughs> there you go some more projects right <laughs> yeah. new furniture <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness gracious oh goodness well i had so much fun talking with you linda i'm so glad that you did this with me i'm sure that you are going to inspire many who watch this video i'm sure you're going to love linda as much as i do um linda if somebody is first of all i didn't want to say creative warriors may or may not be open by the time uh, at the time that you watch this recording um there should be a link in or around here. If not, go ahead and ask me and I will come back and give that to you. If we're not open, you most certainly can jump on the waiting list. Um, so of course I had a brain cramp, Linda. I was gonna just ask you something and now I totally forgot. Oh, I know. So if somebody was thinking about, um, you know, maybe joining our um, Creative Warriors and being in our membership, um, if someone is on the fence about it, um, does anything come to your mind or what you would um, say, what, what you could say to that person? I just say <laughs> do it. I mean, it's so inexpensive. It's like, you know, do you drink coffee? Do you pick up coffee on your way to work or whatever, get two of them, and now you've got creative warriors membership, you know? Yeah. And, and you're not holding anybody to anything. So if right. they're in it for, you know, right. give it two, three months, if you, yeah. if it's not for you, then, you know, that's okay. Right, exactly. Well yeah. said, thank you, Linda. <laughs> You're welcome, sweetheart. <laughs> all right, well, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day or night whenever you are saying this, and <laughs> I will catch you again soon. Wave bye to Linda. <laughs>